President Obama landed in Northern Ireland this morning to attend the G8 summit. He meets one-on-one -on -one today with other leaders. A new poll shows the president's approval rating has fallen eight points in the past month. Meanwhile, a British newspaper is printing new secret documents from NSA leaker Edward Snowden. Major Garrett is in Sligo, Ireland, across the border from the summit headquarters. Major, good morning. Good morning, Nora, Charlie, and Gail. The revelations came in the Guardian newspaper, and they are these, that in 2009, while President Obama was attending his first G20 summit in London, the United States used surveillance techniques to intercept messages between then-Russian President Dmitry Medvedev and other members of the Russian delegation. Now, there is no White House comment officially on this. The unofficial word, though, is yes, in fact, both countries spy on each other, and no one is naive enough on either side to believe that doesn't happen. Now, it's not clear whether or not this revelation will come up in the conversation later today that President Obama will have with Vladimir's, I mean, Russia's current president, Vladimir Putin, but it doesn't really matter. There are plenty of complications and disagreements for those two to gnaw over. In fact, Syria will likely dominate those conversations. President Obama would like Russia to coax or help it coax Bashar al-Assad, the dictator of Syria, out of power. Russia disagrees. It wants to keep Assad in power and is, in fact, its biggest military arms supplier. The United States is moving closer to military involvement in the Syrian civil war. We would like a peaceful diplomatic resolution. Russia opposes that. No breakthroughs are expected. What the U.S. hopes is that they can minimize public discord between the two leaders. And, of course, economic issues are on the forefront here. But clearly, Syria will dominate the conversations at the G8 summit.